hello there YouTube and welcome to Saturday the 17th of March I've been killing myself doing BMW test so you think that would be torture enough <laughs> let's go ride a BMW but first I just need to get my head cleared so I'm just gonna have not put gas in this thing this is gone because I don't need it and I'm gonna show you why so I did this to a customer's bike yesterday the guy that just bought a, a 2018 so I'm a get into get in my nav detected yeah I know you're there so go into settings hasn't found my phone yet come on baby find my phone I'm staying oh did I bring my phone out yeah I got it on me so oops scroll wheel settings rider's helmet all right so you use the phone button go into pairing mode and switch into connect new rider's helmet searching searching oh man you can not that I hardly ever and it's a rare thing listen to music on my um when I'm riding but there it is right there connecting come on baby I just heard the Cena all right now she's good so what's cool so you got your phone you got all your settings for that your phone book and yada 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 you can go through things but now you have your media and it pulls up I don't even know who that is but anyway you can switch through uh, well there, there's one there it brings up album art and everything else and it's playing through my Cena right now well if I get a phone call or anything like that that pops through as well and see now it shows I've got my phone headset there's my battery power and there's no way I have that much cellular because out here in the shop I'm away from the uh, the micro cell and I don't get no service but anyway fantastic you know and I can do all the mapping stuff I can just set a, a destination you know for uh, for prompts you know I can I can see where I'm at here and use this as all my prompts it tells me and it's gonna talk to me through the phone or through the headset oh man that is super super nice so anyway I was playing around that with his motorcycle it was towards the end of the day there yesterday and I just ran out of time to talk to you guys about it and one of my plans was to come out here and hook this thing up but uh, I never did so I thought about doing that today it, it is 6 623 come on baby oh this does me the time too didn't it yeah so 623 I'm just now crawling away from my iPad doing all these tests I thought man and I got this weird little head cold thing going on this morning so what a mess but anyway let me uh roll this thing outside get the tag on it because I had to take it off the spider I need to ask see if they'll give me a second dealer tag because that would sure be nice but I think we only got a limited amount but uh, anyway the uh, next thing you're going to see is me rolling down the road on this here motorcycle. Because remember last time I rode it, I needed to get gas, and I didn't. So we're just going to take some back roads and end up over there at GC's and uh, put some gas in it. How about that? All right. All righty then. Look at this. No uh, saddlebags. Remote key, key not in range. <laughs> That's because I walked off on it. There it goes, not sees me in the key, or the fob as it may be. It's beginning to wonder if she gave up on me. <laughs> it was taking a long time in there. Whee! Let's, let's go play in the sun. downshift too quick and got a little ABS action out of the back wheel there. 
How about we swing out here by the old cedar mill? It's funny, you leave all the traction control stuff on and I, I can feel it in the throttle every time it either lifts, tries to lift or it breaks the back wheel loose. They go whoop, whoop and you'll feel it through the throttle. It's kind of cool. Come on, Cedar Mill, kick off some smells. We want to smell some smells. The wind is heading east at the moment too, so I just about bet you I won't. Oh, but that doesn't make it any less beautiful. Look at all them poor cedar trees that, that everything came to an end for them. Hopefully we'll see some, oh, whoa, now I'm smelling it. Hmm, got a hint of it. There's the old Serengeti, you guys remember that? Those are the wild African cattle. <laughs> I don't know what. Just some, just some good old American livestock. All that was. Try to keep you in places where the sun's not shining in your face. Which that's about to end here in a second. Whoa! Like right there. All right, let me sign off for a sec. Man, having that thing set up like that is priceless. And it's cool when your Cena is hooked up. Your phone now goes through your through your Cena, and the phone call that shows up appears on the screen. You got a phone call while we're sitting there. You 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 shift right to uh, answer, shift left to you know decline. Oh man, this is so cool. It works so well. Whew. I forgot how loud you can play these Cena's when you got a nice quiet helmet. Holy moly. That thing rocks out. Here, let's just dive over here for a second. So, which button do I hit to to stop it? Oh, oh you just go down one more time and it stops it. So what if I go up? Does it start it again? Nope. So, with your song, you just hit the down button on the menu. Yep, that's your that's your pause and start. Oh man, yeah, I'm loving it. See, I have nothing set in navigation, so uh, um, points of interest with a gas station be in that current location. Oh, wait a minute, it's right there at the top. Texaco, 0.25 of a mile. So let's start route guidance. All right, see, so that's how it works. Ooh, and I got speakers if I shift right. So if I, if I hear it, I should hear it. It's not saying anything now because I'm sitting still. But see, that's how it goes. It tells you Jackson Highway and take a right 100 feet. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Hope it doesn't scream at me. I don't, I don't know how the volume is set. Oh. Oh, that's perfect. It's perfect. I just had the volume turn way down. Oh, man. Lovely, absolutely lovely. It's telling me uh, I have made it to my destination. Yeah, that is way too cool. Mm. Yeah, I think this is only second, second, no, this would be third because I filled it up today. I drove it home and then I, uh, Filled it up here once. The Chippewa chick. That's cool. Look at the cloth chicken in the back. <laughs> that thing is really, really cool. Chippewa chick. Heck yeah. Man, did I 
thing sound good. Whoa. What is it with cars coming at me here lately? So I watched that. I didn't uh, deal with that any more than, than what I did with that car when I was riding that GS Rally yesterday and that car come off of Coxley onto whatever the heck of the name of that road is that I was on. He uh, was one of it's like a 370Z Nissan or whatever them things are called. Come flying around that corner and got all sideways and was in my lane. And the little squirrely quirlies there on the on the screen kind of blocked him off. So I tried zooming in on it and yeah, I couldn't see nothing. Oh man, love those after work rides. Now in Vancouver, I can take back roads all the way home, but it takes me two hours to get home. Even if you drive fast, it's two hours. Can't beat the two hour mark taking the back roads. So, you know, you end up hitting a freeway. And then a lot of times what happens to me is by the time I get down to this area, you know, like Kelly and I together or whatever, we just want to go home. You know, it's just been a long day. And in the summertime, we have that northwest wind that just pummels you when you're going northbound on I-5. It's like a combined like 80 or like 100 miles an hour. So it's usually about 20 to 30 miles an hour and just beat you down. Even on a spider. Whoa there, kitty. You yeah, haven't ridden one of these things. I said that yesterday when I was on that test ride. Man, you just have no idea what you're missing. You just have no idea. Your mind, if you haven't ridden one of these, can't comprehend what it's like to ride one. You can think about it. You can dream about it. Till you spend some time on one of these, you have no idea. But the more time you spend on it, the more you like it. So I did that one video that I will never be without one of these. Absolutely never. You know, as soon as, uh, you know, I kick out and retire or whatever model's going on at that time, there's going to be one in my garage. I, don't get me wrong, I absolutely love, ooh, look at them youngsters. Love my Harleys. That's a whole other world, though. That's a different world. I, I don't know how to say that in a way that it makes any, any sense. I've done videos about with Harleys, you either get it or you don't. The ones that don't usually badmouth them, you know. Get out of here. Because you don't know. You don't know because you don't get it. Number one, because you haven't ridden or spent some time on them. Harleys have a way of just getting in your soul. And it's just something you have to have. And, and you just think about riding all the time. This is like this super high tech safety I mean just another this is you know its own world as well just magical absolutely magical <laughs> and the power and the handling and like I say all the safety stuff and all these gizmos and gadgets electronic ooh wah dilly wah a bunch of people that scares them oh, just more stuff to go wrong Maybe on another motorcycle. On a BMW? Not. <laughs> Don't ever get them in for any electrical stuff. Ever. They only come in for services. Fantastic tires, these Michelin Anarchy 3s, but sand and slippery mud. Like this here, you, got, you do wheelies in this. But if it's got any slickery mud layer to it, it's like riding on road race slicks. But yeah, no electrical issues. Whoa! There's some gravel there. Wow! Woo! <laughs> yeah, man, there's a bunch of it right there too. Don't be cross don't be crossing off the center of the lane. Going across the center of the lane. God, it feels great out there. It's 48 degrees, but that feels oddly wonderful. It's 
So I come out here to go for a ride and I've just been talking about motorcycles to you. Well, a lot of you guys like that too. I like talking about them, so I gotta like control myself not to talk about them. I get comments every once in a while. Wish you just take a ride, and not say anything. I gotta take you up the old Salmon Creek Road here. She ain't blooming yet. She'll be all kinds of pretty here real soon, though. Man, this thing is so pretty. Middle of summer when it's all like in a tunnel looking thing. And uh, in the fall, them leaves, and they turn all their colors. Oh, man. So beautiful coming up. I can just drive, I just come up the top of the hill, turn around, drive down. Back and forth. I just can't get enough of it. Well, hey, after all that testing I did today, since the crack of old dark this morning, I did squeak in a ride. Man, I'm so impressed with that. I don't know why I didn't mess with that TFT. It just couldn't be any more perfect. You just gotta love these things. Man, is that set up nice. Holy moly. Grabbing a little woman, we'll see it quick. Goodbye to you cool folks and and uh I'll be, guess I'll be well I'll be doing the video for a while and then back to testing. All right, see ya. Well, hello there, YouTube. It's only been about five minutes since I talked to you last. Got the the old Beamer and stuff in. Man, I needed that ride. Whoa. I don't think I, head yeah, I, I don't know that I, I don't feel like I have a head cold thing anymore. Well, that's good. I think it might have been, we were watching last week's uh, American Idol early this morning. There's a little bit of bawling, a little bit of laughing going on there. and I think yeah. maybe that just stopped me up and it just never went away. I just got this hay fever attack after that. and Man, I was a mess for the rest of the day. And I'm trying to do them tests. Look, like my eyes are going to push out of my head. You poor thing. Terrible. But man, that just cleared me right up. I think I just needed a break and some good old outside fresh air. Yes. Some air being blown around a BMW. <laughs> I think it was just an excuse for him to go ride, but you know, clearing the head, we well, can my, use that. I thought the one thing I'll do today is I'm going to come out here and hook up to that thing with you guys and, and uh, I achieved way more than that. And I recorded like way too long, so. Oops. I'm going to try to get more ride than us talking, so we're going to cut this court. Cut the I've, been, short. I've been this way the whole time <laughs> since I turned the camera on. It don't go on the motorcycle. It's like, but anyway, we're gonna cut it short <laughs> so I can put more ride work, work in. So, all right, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give her a thumbs up. And you guys have an amazing Sunday or Monday. Thank you. Should have dug my BMW hat out of the cases there. Well, oh, I got the yeah. wrong hat for what I rode today. Oh no, <laughs> you've got controversy. No oh, man. All right, we're gonna roll. All right. Thank you guys very much and we'll see you tomorrow. We'll come up with something to do between the testing and whatever. Yep. Let's take a break and do something. But anyway, that's it for today. You guys take care. All right. Thank you guys. Bye-bye.